Hey everyone, Enigma Coin Collector here, and I'm actually taking the week off from my live streams, but I still did my weekly box pickup, so I've got five boxes of half dollars to hunt so that I can turn them back in and get more for next week. So I thought I'd go ahead and film all five boxes being hunted here and put out a half dollar hunt as long as we have enough finds. Now I will say that we will not be bringing you in for all of the NIFC finds. I'll probably just do a box recap at the end showing you what NIFCs I found in each box. We will be looking for all of the errors and varieties listed on Rob Finds Treasures Matt, as well as silver, errors, forns, varieties, anything cool, unique, and interesting. We're going to bring you in on the video to show you what it is. Hopefully, we'll find a bunch of silver, though. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with the blue box that I got. One blue box for this week, and then we'll go ahead and do the greens and then the reds. So let me go ahead and get the blue box I picked up this week. I'll be right back. All right, we've got the blue box here. One box pickup for my blue bank. It's a little bit damaged up here at the corner, but it is sealed. Can we get an ender to kick us off on our hunt? Doesn't look like I have any enders, but you know what they say. You got to open all the rolls and look through all the coins to see what you got on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll bring you back in with the first find where I'll see you at the end for the recap. Well, that was fast for you, but uh, it took a while to go through that complete and actual skunk box, not even an NIFC in there. So not a great start to the video. I also did get a phone call from my Red Bank. They didn't get my halves in this week. So this is only gonna be a three box hunt. If it even makes to see the light of YouTube because all I've got left is the two green bank boxes and hopefully there's something in there. Either way, let's go ahead and get one of those boxes and see if there's something in those. All right, here's the first box from the green bank from this week's pickup. Hopefully, it's better than the last box. I mean, nothing in that one. Great to see some silver right on top. And I don't see any. So we're gonna have to get into this box and see if there's anything on the inside. We're on roll number 27 of the second box, and I just peeled this wrapper back, and that looks like old silver to me. Benji or Walker, and it's going to be a Benji. 1952 Denver. So we've got 90% silver in the box. A few more rolls to go, just past halfway. we got to get some more. This is roll number 33, and I started weighing them up, <clears throat> and this one is 226.3. Could mean that there's another 90 in here. But I bring you in just in case. And there is going to be a 90. Look at that right there, dead in the center, and it looks like another old edge. Oh, and it's a walker. 1942 Philly. Walker in the box. All right. Roll number 43 is weighing at 226. Could be something. Could also just be a slightly heavier roll, but man, we found that Walker. Still can't believe it. And yep, not going to be anything silvery in this one. So 226 does not guarantee you silver, but just thought I'd show you that anyway. Roll number 45 is at 226.6. Really hoping for 90, maybe something else. Maybe a 40 or two 90s in this one. One for sure. Just the one, look at that edge. Judging by it, we're gonna have a Kennedy here. 1964, Kennedy, Philadelphia. So we've got a Kennedy, a Benji, and a Walker in one box. How cool is that? And there's not going to be any more finds in box number two, believe it or not. No NIFCs or anything else but a Benji, a Kennedy, and a Walker. All 90%, three of them. And the good news is that I got this box at the same time. So maybe that run is going to continue into it. Here's hoping. Maybe see an ender. Oh, we've got a silver ender for sure. Right here, I believe. Although it might just be tarnished now that I'm looking at it. This box also looks a little bit different. Looks like we do have some NIFCs in here. So uh, yeah, no, 
maybe not an apparent silver ender, but I'll start cracking rolls. And if we find anything silvery, we'll bring you in. We're almost finished with box number three, and we're on roll number 40, no, 38. And we've got eight NIFCs that I've gotten so far. I haven't been bringing in for those because they're just NIFCs. I'll go over them at the end. But I just opened roll number 39, and it looks like we've got a 40 percenter in here. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Could be a 90. Not sure. Oh! That's a 1970. 40 percenter, but this is a NIFC silver. These weren't intended for circulation. Oh, man. Seeing a 1970? Are you nuts? Super low mintage. Yeah, these, these were only available in the mint sets, I believe. Wow. What a box. Uh, nothing, just NIFCs and a 1970D. You don't see that every day. Well, there was nothing else in that box except for that awesome 1970. So I have the score sheet here. You can see box one was a dud, and box two and three were the ones that were uh, the ones filled with the goodies. And three 90 percenters in box two, a Benji, a Walker, and a Kennedy. And then in box number three, we had that 1970D. No more NIFCs, but man, what a hunt. So let's go over the finds. In box number two, we had that 1952 Denver Benji. Awesome to see that pop out. Followed by a 1942 Walker. Man, finding Walkers in your boxes is just a thrill. And then we finished that box up with another 90%, this time being a 1964 Philadelphia Kennedy. Crazy to see the fact that we had a Benji, a Kennedy, and a Walker all in the same box. Box number three had the 1970D. Now, half dollar. Now, I know that uh, most of you know that this is going to be a 40% Kennedy, but this actually was only available in mint sets. And actually, um, the mint set ordering window was already passed by the time these were released, and people realized that they were going to be the last 40% silver coins ever produced by the mint or at least to date so the fact that we found one of these means that someone busted this out of a mint set and put it back into circulation and we plucked it out in 1970 d it is very uncommon to see these coins in circulation even more so than the benjis and the walkers so that is a big thrill to see that and then of course we had the eight nifcs we had an o3p an o4p uh 2006 two p's an o7d uh, 11D, a 14P, and an 18P. So nothing's too fantastic about those NAFCs, but all in all, that was a really awesome hunt. A wide variety of finds across the board, and you can't get mad at the results. What an awesome hunt. I can't wait to get more boxes. Hopefully the ones for the live streams are just as good as these. Remember, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, I'd appreciate you clicking the subscribe button. If you got something to say, leave it in the comments below. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open those rolls and you find out what you got on the inside. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone. Catch you on the next one.